I've had some questions on how to do the changing of size when placing the variables. I've given a sample of the code, but I'm also going to go through and explain it in this video. So you can grab the code from the mouse pressed sample. And you can always just copy the code that I give you into processing to see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and start up processing. And paste the code in here. And hit play. And you can see I've got it with different colors. So you can see how it changes shapes. You could do the same thing with changing size. You would just choose where it's changing size. So here I'm going to look into the area where it's, a, if it's a rectangle, you notice I have 600 to 900. Let's just add another one. We don't need to change shape if y is greater than 750. It'll still be a rectangle, x, y, the mouse coordinates, and 40 and 40, so we'll make it a larger square. So there's really no difference in what I did in my sample between changing size and changing shape. It's the same process. You determine where it's going to be. And then I'm going to stop it and play it again. And so if it's greater than, or if it's less than 300, we get um, a, an ellipse. If it's less than 600, we get a rectangle. And I accidentally put that into the yellow mark, but if it's less than 750, we get a large rectangle or we get a triangle. So pretty much that's all you need to do is just check with an if statement where your y what your y level is and change your size accordingly.